free, living free, and I was meant to be. I'm living free, living free, living free, and I was meant to be free, meant to be free. Buongiorno, buonasera e benvenuti amici. Welcome my friends. My name is Vincenzo and welcome to my channel Fountain Pen Therapy. I was looking through, I believe it was Etsy, uh, and it may have been AliExpress, but one of the two, and I keep, I don't remember which because I'm always constantly looking on either one of them, including eBay and Amazon. And I saw this pen, um, and it said Pen BES. Um, it was an advertising new. I said to myself, oh, a new Pen BBS pen. And I noticed that it looked like a metal pen, which I don't believe I I have a metal pen made by Pen BBS. Or let's put it this way, it's not one of their regular models. Uh, most of them are resin, uh, you know, and not and not metal. And I said, wow, this looks interesting. Let me order it. Then I then I found out, no, the pen I think has been around for a while. So again, folks, like the 495, was it, that I've reviewed recently? I missed it. I just missed it. I, uh, But you know what? It, it, it needed to be part of my collection. So that's it. It's the Pen BBS 499. I think it's a gorgeous looking pen. Uh, let's take a look at it. Does it... Uh, meet up with the usual very high quality standards of pen bbs it's a metal pen what does it look like what what kind of a writing experience will we have with it well folks stay tuned and uh, we'll try to give you uh, our outlook on things stay tuned so here's the box that it comes in um you know the usual pen bbs and there was a sleeve there is a cardboard sleeve that i oh here it is yeah cardboard sleeves it gives you it gives you the model number uh and it's protected and you remove that and then it's got this magnetic uh latch to it very nice uh, usual pen bbs um, come out there you go the pen comes out and here it is folks i think it's um I think it's a very, very, very nice pen. Um, I got to tell you, um, I, I, um, like I said, I was a little bit surprised that I had missed it. But hey, folks, we miss things. There you go. There's a nice center band with pen BBS on it, and with the number four ninety nine, which is always a nice touch. You got your uh, usual pen BBS, you know, sword shaped clip, which is. Uh, stiff but functional very nice solid very nice solid clip and you got that nice uh, finial uh, with a nice decorative um, with a p i guess standing for pen bbs is kind of a flower design that's the top finial with a little bit of a bevel which is nice um, the bottom finial is got a little bevel and then it's kind of kind of a coin shaped uh, butt there gold uh, gold colored um, and the band is got kind of a center uh, let me just see if I can focus here for you guys yeah you see this got you know two lines on the outside parallel beveled lines with a major with one main center center uh, gold band there we go so that's the pen now let's see it opens in no it doesn't open if i forgot it's a snap-on so it, uh, there you go very nice functional uh you don't you don't go crazy with it very very well done okay and it reveals this very nice now they say that this is sandblasted or or i guess it looks like a sandblasted and here's where we get into certain sites talk about pure copper other sites talk about brass i don't know which uh, i'm not an expert i'm not sure that i could tell and i'm not sure that anybody can uh, and whether or not it's even brass or uh, or copper there's a little weight to it but it's not you know not too too heavy and we'll have the measurements uh, uh, coming up soon um, there's that 
beautiful gold colored pen bbs standard fine nib which is a nice touch plastic feed it's got a little bit of a flare there that metal surface at the section um, has that little bit of that glaze there that uh, makes it such that i don't find it too slippery uh, and i do have a tendency to have a slippery hands and uh, so far so good a uh, little bit on the short side but functional when you don't post it does it post yes it does uh, it posts very very high though um, so it, it's it's securely but not too comfortably in the sense that it's way on top so it, it does have a tendency to to back weight a little bit i can feel the weight here um, pushing down but for those of you who absolutely need to or enjoy posting it's not a problem it is a cartridge converter pen nice functional typical pen bs cartridge uh, converter so that's that's fine as well and as i mentioned it's a snap-on so there you have it that's the outside of the pen not much more to say about it it is a little bit on the thinnish side uh, but it's got some nice weight it's got a nice look i really like that finial so let's do some size comparisons next so we're back with a few pens here let's just uh, close up a little more you got my n6 on dian this is the italics churchman's prescriptor uh, a metal pen uh, this is my Visconti um, Rembrandt, um, which I never use, and completely disappointing pen, <laughs> uh, like most of my Visconti pens, I should, I should add. Uh, here is my beautiful Nettuno 1911, which is not disappointing at all. Uh, this is my 8037 Ungdian, and there, of course, is the subject pen. So you could see that in terms of length, it's... Uh, it's it's bigger than even the 8037 and certainly longer maybe not uh, doesn't have the same girth but uh, there you have it capped there you have the same pens uh, capped if you will let me just make sure they're all here you go and again you can see that the subject pen uh, is in effect uh, uh, longer than all of them only by a by a few hairs in 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 terms of comparing it to the Nettuno and to the italics, but you know it's got a nice uh, length, but again, not not the same girth. And here you have them posted. Now my prescriptor italics doesn't post very well; it just sits there really. Uh, but uh, you can see that posted, um, it it takes on a completely different size um uh, the the subject pen does the pen bs 499 is significantly uh, longer when posted so there you have it so we'll put up the measurement table and then uh, take a look at the writing sample let's just see what this pen does where it's most important on the paper stay tuned So for the writing sample, first of all, the ink. I'm going to use this um, Gerbin 1670. Um, and this is the uh, Carob de Chypre, which is a kind of a gray black um, with some gold shimmer. Uh, and I find that the shimmer in these uh, Jacques Carbin um, inks are very cooperative. They don't clog the pens as much as some other shimmery inks do so that's always good news in terms of the journal that we will use we're going to use this tomeo river from pad uh, from our friends in istanbul galen leather uh, let's just uh, close up here yeah that's good and let's test this fine nib again not my favorite nibs but uh, let's see what it does First of all, I can tell you this section is, is cooperating so far. 
Oh, very nice. So pen BBS 499. This is the black shadow, I believe that it's referred to. The nib is a number six steel pen BBS fine nib find this nib has kind of a little spring to it I can almost um, feel it very wet and smooth um, yeah it's got some nice strokes there very constant no skipping whatsoever uh, it just follows uh, very nicely here we go uh, fast writing as you could see not a problem whatsoever it, it it does have kind of almost a pencil feedback if you will i mean it is a very pointy fine almost uh, extra fine in my opinion uh, but very wet very smooth so very smooth i'm glad very wet and very constant okay so what do i like and what do i dislike about this pen well what do i like what do i like about it is the the gold trimmings on this pen stand out i like the matte black finish I also like the overall build quality of the pen. As usual, Pen BBS does not disappoint. I mean, the design is, it's a nice design. Oh, sorry about that. It's a nice design for a tinnish pen. So, yeah, I mean, the design is also very nice, but nothing, you know, nothing spectacular, if you will. The dislikes, I have only one dislike, it's just too thin. But that again is very subjective and it's it's me i don't like thinnish thinnish pens you know but it doesn't mean that um, um others don't you know uh, for that matter so and the fact that they I, I haven't been able to find um a proper description of the metal being used is it copper or is it brass why is it that when I buy a Leonardo or, or a Leonardo or a Lamy or a Diamond or, or a, 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 uh, a sailor or, you know, they give me the right time of day, whether I'm on one site or another uh, site and I'm looking for it, that pen has the same name, but for some reason and the same descriptions. Uh, and, but for some reason with pen BBS, at least this one, I know it's a 499, but when I come to look at what metal is being used, some say nothing other than metal, others say brass, others say copper. Now, is it the site that's misleading? Um, or is it pen BBS that hasn't quite properly uh, provided the adequate descriptions? Uh, and I don't like the idea of not being able to know uh, whether this thing is brass, copper, or just, you know, an, some other alloy. So there you have it. But other than that, I got to tell you, uh, the nib is also something that I really like. Beautiful nib, I got to tell you. Very, very nice. Wet, smooth, and springy. So there you have it. That's my review. Hope it's given you some ideas of what this 499 uh, brings to the table and whether or not you you want to consider uh, purchasing it uh, there you have it and the pen uh, is uh, i think a nice one and something something to look at in terms of your options there you go so please enjoy your day subscribe and any comments don't hesitate 
Ciao.